Okay, so this is the Acaso Trace Pro 1 dash cam. It's a nice little dash cam, very, very light. The suction cup on it is very nice. Nice little design. Fire it up. Power button on the side. Your SD card goes in there. I've already inserted it. Pause button is right here on the bottom. It's got your dual cam, so you can switch that on and off, just like this. Here's your files, you can review that way. So we'll go through the settings. So, your resolution. I've got it set at 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second. For the dual, you can have it uh, 1080p, 1080p. I find you lose video quality when you have them both running at the same time, though. That's the only problem. But you get a very clear picture at 1080p, 60. You need your loop recording. Press OK. Once again, it's got one, three, five. There you go. Next is your dual cam display, and that'll give you front, rear, or front and rear. So you can run this just having the rear camera facing in the cam, cabin of your car while you're driving, uh, or you can use both cameras or just one at all. I usually just use the front. I find the picture you know, has a wide dynamic range. I keep that on. It uh, gives a nice wide angle, um, gives it more field of view. Record audio, you can turn that on or off. It's also got your date stamp that on and your g-sensor I find the g-sensor I keep it at medium and it's it's pretty good it uh, picks up a got your resolution I keep it at uh, 1080p 60 like I said uh, I find the picture quality very good uh, when you get it on the dual cam then you lose some of that picture quality Once again, we got the loop recording, and I do that at three minutes. So that's some of the camera features. Now we'll go into the settings. Set up uh, your date and time, and your G-Sensor. I find the G-Sensor, I keep it at medium, and it's, it's pretty good. It uh, picks up a lot. Got your resolution. I keep it at uh, 1080p 60. Like I said, uh, I find the picture quality very good. Uh, when you get it on the dual cam, then you lose some of that picture quality. Once again, we got the loop recording, and I do that at three minutes. So that's some of the camera features. Now we'll go into the settings. Set up uh, your date and time. Parking monitor on this is really good. Frequency, we keep that at uh, 60 HS, HZ, sorry. Also got our GPS speed to go with the GPS monitor that uh, comes with this. We put that on. got a fatigue reminder I so the fatigue reminder um, it's got
got uh, one hour, two hours, and four hours. The version number. And you've got your default settings. Set it back to factory settings. And you can also format the card if you really wanted to format it uh, for whatever reason. It's always good when you got a brand new card to format it just before inserting it into the camera. Camera's off and it's in parking mode, so when it's in the car, any kind of uh, motion in the car or any kind of ding or anything like that, it'll just right away start. Dash on, this is nighttime. Give you a, an idea what it looks like. Um, some of the street lights will wash it out a bit. Other than that, uh, you get a fairly decent picture. Um, like I said, you still lose some of that picture quality if you got both uh, front and rear running at the same time. Um, other than that, you still get a nice uh, clear view of the uh, surrounding cabin inside the car. You can see right out through the back window, you can see all around. So it's not too bad for night driving, uh, even in low light. So that's not too bad on it. Um, pretty close to the uh, reload. Um, I got the dual dash on. You can see my ugly mug, obviously, but no, joking, all joking aside. Um, it shows all the inside of the cabin, which is really cool. Kind of helps in the event of an accident. You can kind of see a lot more. Okay, for, so for the Wi-Fi, you just press on the Wi-Fi here, you hold it, and it'll say Wi-Fi. Next, you go to your Picasso tray, press on it, and, and it'll tell you for your safety, Wi-Fi will be turned, or uh, GPS will be turned off while you're driving, so it's not a big deal. And uh, there you can see that uh, the Wi-Fi is working now. Then if you want, you just go to your settings, go like that. And you can uh, change all your settings in the camera through your phone. So the pros for the Acaso Trace Pro 1 dash cam. Cheap and affordable, very lightweight, suction cup on it. Very good. Uh, I've never had a problem. Some people have said that they've uh, had it come off, but I've never had that problem. Uh, daytime video, fairly decent, not too bad. It's got Wi-Fi capability, lock feature, and uh, battery backup power. Video at night is not really good. It's it's not bad, but uh, video gets washed up by streetlight glare, oncoming traffic. Um, bright sunny days will wash it out sometimes. Uh, the Wi-Fi is not the greatest. Uh, if you're in a shopping mall, it'll cut out. The range is limited, basically. Reading license plan. I can't read them from... Uh, this is made by Canadian Tire. It's also known as the uh, Viofo A119. Uh, Canadian Tire has branded it uh, their name. Um, you can find this on the Amazon pretty much 
hundred, hundred and so, budget friendly, um, pretty decent camera. It uh, comes with uh, uh, 920 by 1080p, uh, 60 frame per second, um, lane departure. It uh, supports up to a 64 gig file storage. It's got forward collision, 180 degree wide angle lens and hand snake vision. Uh, it's got a little two inch screen on it. Continuous loop recording. It's got a G sensor, motion detector. It's got uh, your camera on the front here and it's adjustable. This clips on the back on the module. I've got the module in the car now. It's a little GPS module. I find it's not that accurate and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Not a big uh, issue for me. Okay, so this is the reload dash cam. We'll turn it on and we'll see some of the features. And right away it'll start recording, so I'll just stop it here. This here is the menu button, the off button. This would be the uh, pause and record button. This would be your OK button and various other features. This will turn your mic on and off. And this will be your menu button. So let's click on the menu button. Good resolution. Just click on that. You've got your uh, 2560 by 1440p, uh, 30 frames per second, 920 by 1080p, 60 frames per second, and 920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second. I usually leave it down here at the uh, 30 frames per second. I find the uh, picture quality is a little better. And then we just click OK. Go down here to loop recording and uh, you've got various settings one minute two minute three minutes all the way up to ten minutes I usually keep it at the three minute mark Cut your exposure I usually keep it at about uh, five thirds um, Depend. I, I find the quality is kind of good right here, so I don't really mess with that too much. Got your motion detection. Leave that on. You got your G sensor. It's also got a lane departure warning system. I, tu I turn that off right now. Um, I find it's more uh, annoying than anything when uh, you're going down the road it'll pick up the lines and then it won't pick up the lines um, it'll go off at certain times when it's not supposed to and other times it won't go off when it should be so it's not as accurate as a system you'd get already built into your car forward collision um, it's basically the same thing. I don't find it as accurate. Uh, then you've got your date stamp. Put that on. Uh, the audio, you can record audio. So have that on. The audio is very good on this. Uh, it got a screensaver. I just leave it at one minute. Uh, sometimes at night you don't want the screen on. It's dark. It might uh, bother you. So I just have it turn off after one minute. Then you got your date and time you set. And of course it's got the language. Beep sound, I always turn off. Annoying beeps on this is just, it's just not, uh, frequency, 
here in uh, Canada, United States, 60 uh, gigahertz, or hertz, sorry. And then if you want to format your card, every once in a while you just format it. You can do that by the computers too, so it doesn't matter which way you do it. Then uh, you can set this up. I got it every month. Just lets me know I should uh, clean the card, format it every once in a while. Then you can just go back to your default settings, and this is your version of what the camera is. QHD, uh, same as the Acasa, it's cheap and affordable, very lightweight, it's got a uh, video lock feature, and it's got an adjustable camera lens. So for the cons, that night video, it's not bad, but uh, you get washed out by street light glare, oncoming traffic, and it, once again, bright sunny days, sometimes I'll wash your videos out. Also, you can't uh, read license plates perfectly unless you're very close to the vehicle. Uh, overall, um, both these cameras are very, uh, not bad for its price. Um, you get what you pay for, right? So um, if you're looking for something more expensive, you're gonna have, you'll get better quality, but uh, in, for the price range for these two cameras, they're uh, they're not bad. So um, that was my review on uh, the Acaso Trace Pro One dash cam and the Reload 2H QHD. Thank you.